Hello there, it's your girl Daphne back with another video. It's day three of the 12 days of Christmas and today we're going to be baking brownies. This is the first time I'm using this recipe so we'll find out together if it's good or not. All the ingredients that you'll need is on the screen right now. Please take a photo and the recipe is right here. Take a screenshot. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is adding the butter and the sugar to the saucepan and we're going to heat it on low until it's dissolved. While we're waiting for the butter and sugar mixture to melt, we're going to move on over to combining the dry ingredients. So into the bowl, we're going to add the flour, cocoa powder, and salt. Now that we have all of this in the bowl and we've mixed it and incorporated it, we're going to check on the butter and sugar mixture. This is how we're looking. So guys, I just want to know, have you started doing any shopping this year? I know I haven't, but I wanted to know if you've taken advantage of Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I am a notorious procrastinator, so hopefully this weekend I'll be able to do some type of shopping. So we're going to add in the eggs to the butter and sugar mixture and mix it a little. Then we're going to add that into the dry ingredients and we're just going to mix until it's incorporated. The recipe calls for minimal mixing, so you just want to make sure that you combine all of the ingredients together. The second to last ingredient is vanilla extract and you want to make sure that you get the best quality vanilla extract because you do taste the difference. So here's a close-up shot of how glossy and beautiful and delicious the batter looks. So while I'm spraying the pan, I just wanted to call out this gourmet batter cocoa mix that I'm using, which is also the recipe, is amazing. It smells delicious and I actually got it from Costco online. So you can check it out if you want to duplicate this recipe. They might have it in the warehouse, but I know I purchased it online. So I'm curious, have you made your list and shared your list with your loved ones of what items you'd like to receive for Christmas this year? If you have, leave me a comment down below so I have some ideas as to what people are getting this year. Okay, so we're gonna pop this baby in the oven on 350 and we're gonna bake it for 35 minutes. Okay, so I just checked it with a toothpick. It is done, so we're about to enjoy this delicious brownie. So I've invited Alex back to be my taste tester. So I'm just going to cut it up, plate it, and then we'll be able to taste it and see how delicious this recipe really is.
So I'm letting Alex have the first taste, but obviously he's taking way too long to take that bite. So I'm just gonna dive in here and take a bite. This is so moist. Oh my God, I've never had a brownie like this before. It is absolutely delicious. So it's a success. I'm really glad that I tried this recipe and that I was able to share it with you. So I just want to thank you for watching. I really, really enjoyed sharing this with you. And I just wanted to remind you, if you have not subscribed already to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I upload a video. And I just want to remind you that we are currently doing the 12 days of Christmas. So I will be uploading each and every day. Tomorrow will be day four. And I'm going to be having a video of a DIY. So you don't want to miss this DIY because it's something that everyone should have in their house. So please like this video. Please share it with friends and family. And until tomorrow, because you'll see me again, have a blessed day.